What is up guys, HPFC here, and welcome to Bloody Sunday episode 32. Now, I must apologise for how inconsistent this series is. It it was meant to be weekly, but that doesn't seem to be happening, does it? But I do try, I like doing this series, I like to think you guys enjoy the series, but sometimes it's just, it's hard for me to get it out every week, you know. Uh, I've got my other walkthroughs I'm working on as well, and then, you know, this is life in general, and you know, sometimes I just can't do it, you know. But if I have the time and the energy, I will get this series out, you know, so all I'm going to say is, it's probably best, I guess you're not anyway, but don't expect it every week, basically, because, you know, but I will try. I guess I'll try a little bit hard to get it out, but uh, anyway, enough of that. Let's get on with it. So, yeah, the game I've chosen for this episode is Metal Gear Rising Revengeance, which was released in 2013 on the Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3, and then released on PC the following year. Now, it's over to you guys for the next episode. You can uh, vote for which game you want to see, so just check the description for the details. And yeah, man, oh... I love this game so friggin' much. There's no doubt about it. This is the most violent game to feature Metal Gear in the title. No doubt about that. So, um, let's do it, man. So, um, I've not really got that far. I originally had it on Xbox. I'm playing PC version, so I've not really... I've not unlocked anything. I forgot what would be the best sort of chapter to show, but we'll just go with what I've got right here. Let's, uh... We've got the second chapter. I think we'll get some, uh... Decent amount of blood there. That's the first chapter in it. Um, yeah, okay. Yes. Yeah, man. Uh, I remember when this game was first um, revealed, um, I was like really pissed off. I was like, no, being the diehard Metal Gear fan that I am, well, Metal Gear Solid fan that I am, um, you know, and this game being polar opposite gameplay, different developers, Raiden main character, so totally different. I was like, no! I was determined to hate it, and I was so wrong because it's Platinum Games, man. Oh, cat! You seen these ninja cats? Look at them. Look at the moves. That cat has just got some sick moves. You can't get them. But yeah, we only had to slice up pusses, so. <laughs> right, let's chop some guys up like freaking sushi. Where are they at? Yeah, this game is just bona fide badass, man. And oh, the soundtrack is one of the best soundtracks in a video game ever. Uh, Rules of Nature probably be my favourite. But oh god. I'm not the best at this game. I've. Oh god, they're throwing grenades. But yeah, we hack people up. I'll admit, I mean, I hate riding. There'll always be that blonde little bitch, whiny bitch from Metal Gear 2, but um, he, he was badass in uh, Metal Gear 4 and this, so... I'll admit, I'm not doing a very good job here, am I? Yeah, we can do this, look at this slow-mo thing. You can just hack him up to pieces. Look at that, man. That is awesome. I mean, for God's sake, you get to chop a Metal Gear rain off in this game. I knew at that point this game was going to be amazing. I mean, I should know it anyway, because it's Platinum Games, and oh god, decapitation, but Platinum Games are just one of the absolute best developers. They just throw out amazing games for fun. And also, they are like the kings of boss fights. No one does boss fight. Well, actually, I guess, um, you know, Kojima Productions, they do the best boss fights. I think Metal Gear has the best boss fights ever, but Platinum Games are a close second. These guys with no eye. Alright, let's skip these. We don't want to. We don't want to watch no cutscenes. You know what I mean? We're here for blood. Oh, why can't I get past? Let me get past. Here we go. Thing is, though, with platinum games, games, they're um. Can I skip these? Yeah. Because they're so fast paced. I mean, all their games are like on fast forward, aren't they? So they end up really short because you breeze through them because of how fast they are. So. But they're so good, you're going to play for them multiple times. Uh, this might be my favourite game, actually, from Platinum. I don't know, Bayonetta 2. That's, that game's phenomenal as well. In fact, I think they're working on a... Are they working on an Xbox One exclusive? Is it, um, is it Scalebound? Is that Platinum? I don't think we know anything about that game yet, than its name, but I've no doubt it'll be amazing. So, yeah, let's do, um, can do a stealth attack here if we get behind them. Do we press uh, B? Yeah! Right through the chest. Blood on the sword there. Alright, we've got guys around here. I'll admit, the story's shit in this game. I mean, if you compare it to uh, Kojima's work, you know, but... Platinum games, they've never been that good at storytelling, but it don't matter because the gameplay just totally makes up for it. I mean, you've got such amazing gameplay. Who needs a decent story? I mean, it'd be nice to have both, but 
Skinless stealth attack. This guy's got an RPG, hasn't he? So let's make sure he don't use it. Here we go. Yeah. Chop him up. Oh, what's that? Oh, that, oh okay. Yeah, you re I forgot what those things are. It's been a while since I played this guy. I think, does that uh, increase your health? Or something? Oh, God. Someone's got laser sights on me. Is there another rocket guy? I'm not sure. Let's go up here. Can I go up here? I think there's rocket guys up top. Someone was pointing at me. Screw it. Fair enough. Let's move on. Oh, crap. Here we go. I don't really want to fight these things because they don't bleed blood. I want red. I want crimson all over the place. These guys bleed green. Oh god, I'm dizzy. I'm dizzy. Come on, Raiden. There we go, just slicing and dicing, man. I get another decapitation. No. Oh god, he's gonna charge at me. Ow! Exactly sure you meant to get out of the way of them, but here we go. There it is. Oh no, I thought I got it. I like the uh, the block system this year. It's not like you just can hold down a button. You've got to press like forward and attack. So that's a bit of challenge there. It's interesting. Could be tricky to pull off at first. It's a pretty hard game, actually, this. It's a good challenge. Are you going to die or what? Here we go. Yeah! So you take him down. Right, come on. Where is some people? I want to kill people. There hasn't been enough blood yet. I'm not satisfied. Oh, shit. There's more of these uh, things. I forgot what they called. Are they called Gecko? They were in Metal Gear 4, weren't they? The attack right at the beginning. Aha! I see a guy up there. Ready to be chopped up. Oh, they saw me. Oh, yeah! Nice! Oh, there's another guy there. Point that laser elsewhere, buddy. There's, actually, there's a lot of cursing as well in this game, isn't there? Metal Gear's never been too heavy on the, uh, the swearing, has it? I think this game throws a lot of fucks at you. That's one of the most adult... ...game out in the Metal Gear series. It's a terrible name, though, isn't it? Rising Revengeance. Who came up with that? Just, just Rising would have done. Revengeance isn't even a real word, is it? Dude, I'm getting owned by these things. Quick. Give me the blue thing inside you, whatever it does. It powers me up. God damn it, see you doing a little leg sweep on me? Is there an easy way to take these things down? You see, this is why you should always practice before... Not just jumping into the game thinking, I remember how it works! Fuck, what am I doing here? Not got these controls down, have I? It's very evident. Oh, it's cho oh, did I chop down there? Did I chop down a piece of this building? Fuck! I'm getting annoyed with these things now. I am, I'm knocking down this, uh, take down these pillars. There we go. There we go, let's chop its leg. That's its leg, there we go. Yeah, chop its leg off! Nice! Dude, oh, I keep pressing trigger by accident. I got my finger on trigger. Whoa! It's still shooting. I died! Son of a!
This ain't good, is it? I thought I'd be fighting more guys. I want to fight guys. I want to fight stupid robots. There was um, there was this really cool DLC skin you could get with this game, which was um, Grey Fox. That looked awesome. Grey Fox would own Raiden. If I didn't, Kojima want to make like. I think he actually wanted this game to be uh, about Grey Fox, but I think his team persuaded him to go, um, well, I think Platinum or whatever persuaded him. Something like that. But yeah, he wanted to do like a Grey Fox game. I think he still does. Well, I guess it's not going to happen now because he's leaving Konami, which basically means the end of Metal Gear as we know it, which is very, very sad. But I guess this day was going to come anyway. But as far as I'm concerned, without Kojima, there is no Metal Gear Solid. Right, I've had enough for you guys. Little freaky things. Ah! Right, guys to kill. Let's take my anger on these. God, will you stop kicking me? I swear to God, I will shove my sword so far up your fucking robot ass. Oh! I'm getting genuinely frustrated here. Jesus Christ, come on! Are you kidding me? This could be the angriest episode of Bloody Sunday I've ever done because I am getting very impatient here. Well, this has been flat out shit so far because I'm not happy at all. I don't care what that guy's to say, I really don't. No one cares, dude. I'm not here to hear you, we're here to see blood and violence and gore. And all those lovely things. Not to see you running your goddamn mouth. I don't think I've ever checked out those VR missions. I should do that, because does anyone remember um, VR missions? The expansion to the original Metal Gear Solid? That game was freaking brilliant, I loved it. I hard as hell. But one of the reasons I bought it was because you got to unlock Grey Fox. Get the players him at the end, and uh, yeah, it was cool. Oh, this is one of my favorite tracks as well. My own master. But I'm fighting a robot again. <laughs> I'm really sorry. I I didn't know it. I thought I'd be fighting more people. This hasn't exactly been that bloody, has it? So, yeah. Come on! Oh, I love this track. Seriously, you need to, if you never heard the soundtrack, you need to check it out, man. It's worth buying, it's that damn good. Every track is just brilliant. Here we go! We got guys! Bring them on! There we go, we got blood. I could do a ripping the spine things out. Here we go. Let's chop him up. The tiny little pieces. Yeah! Oh, he's, he's not being chopped up. He's refusing. Some of the cutscenes are pretty uh, violent as well, but I can't remember which ones they are, so I don't really want to show cutscenes, but one of them, Raiden loses his eye. And gets his arm chopped off. Oh my god. What the hell has he just done to me there? That got him. Yeah, mid air chop. Look at that. Damn, finally beat that guy. It's not too bad once you get the pattern down and stuff, but at least you get to kill some guys now. That's all I've been wanting to do. Here we go. Oh, nice! Ripped that thing out of him when he was in the air. 
All these guys have shields, do they? Huh? Don't you think it's funny? Oh, this blade can't get through him. Get over him, huh? Attack him from behind. There we go. <laughs> oh, yeah! I love getting in when they're going through the air in slow motion. It's not to like about that. There we go. Holy Jesus, look at this. It's crazy. <laughs> Holy mother of God, he's nuts. What the hell is he blocking me with? Oh, he's got a little sword himself. You're not gonna block that, are you? Huh? Oh god, camera. Oh, who's this winged beast? Two of them. I need to get to these guys. What is the trick? There we go, we're just jumping here. I'll chop off those wings is what I'll do. I think I just did. Oh god. <laughs> oh, I just sliced half his, you said that, half his head off. Let's chop those wings up. Flying around like that. I'll have less of it. I'll have less of it, you know what I mean? I can't reach this guy. There we go. There we go. Nice. Well, actually, um, I'm going to end this one here. Then uh, I'm not best pleased with that. I wanted more blood. I didn't think I'd be fighting so many non-bleeding things. But, uh, oh well, we got some blood. But anyway, um, I think it's very likely I'll probably do a full walk through this game in the future. If I'm almost positive it will happen. So, anyway guys, uh, that was uh, episode 30, Bloody Sunday, episode 32 of Bloody Sunday, uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. And as usual, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.